Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on fluctuating loads on power plant. In this video, we are going to find out plant load factor and plant use factor. First, I will read what is the given problem. A thermal power plant consists of 260 megawatt units each running for 8000 hours and one 30 megawatt unit running for 2000 hours per year. Energy produced by the plant is 876 into 10 raised to 6 kilowatt hour per year determine plant load factor and plant use factor. Consider maximum demand is equal to plant capacity. So this was the given question. Let us first understand what is the given data. So we will make here table. So number of units, running time and capacity. So for this, in this power plant, number of units are 2 which is having running time 8000 hours per year and capacity that is 60 megawatt. So this each unit is having capacity 60 megawatt. So I will write here in bracket. That is also mentioned in the question that is 60 megawatt capacity for each unit. Then here number of unit 1 then running time is 2000 hours per year and its capacity is 30 megawatt. Energy produced by the plant it is given 876 into 10 raised to 6 kilowatt hour per year. So here if we observe time period is given in year. Then maximum demand is equal to plant capacity. So here this capacity in megawatt is given. So we will consider this as a maximum demand. Now we have to find out the plant load factor and plant use factor. So how to find out the plant capacity. So for this plant capacity it is the combination of 2 units for 60 megawatt each and 1 unit for 30 megawatt. So plant capacity that is nothing but we have to take this capacity 60 megawatt for 2 units that is 60 plus 60 plus 1 unit of 30 megawatt that is plus 30 that is 150 megawatt. Then we will move for the calculation of average load. So average load that is energy produced per year. So here energy produced by the plant per year is given divided by time period. So time period for one year that we have to write in number of hours. So I will write here 876 into 10 raised to 6. Here unit is kilowatt hour divided by. Now time period in 1 hour that is we know that 365 that is number of days 365 and in one day it is 24 hours that is multiplied by 24 that is 8760. Now if we observe this 876, 876 is getting cancelled so here in denominator it is 10 so remaining is 10 raised to 5. So what is this 10 raised to 5? So here the unit is hour. This hour hour is getting cancelled. 10 raised to 5 kilowatt. Now this kilowatt we can convert into megawatt. That is we will say that 100 megawatt. So which is equal to 100 megawatt. Then we will move for the calculation of load factor. So this is also the question. So load factor is average load by maximum load. So what is this maximum load? So this maximum demand or maximum load we have to consider as a plant capacity and plant capacity is 150 megawatt. So we will consider this as a maximum load. So average load, so average load we have calculated that is we will consider in megawatt that is 100 divided by maximum load that is 150. So 10 divided by 15. 0.66 So this load factor is having no unit because megawatt megawatt is getting cancelled. Now we will move for the next that is for the calculation of plant use factor we have to first calculate what is the maximum possible energy produced by the plant. So for this maximum possible energy if we have to calculate we will consider the plants are running at its full capacity. That is 
this plant is running for this 60 megawatt and this 30 megawatt that is at its full capacity for this running time 8000 hours and 2000 hours so how to calculate this maximum possible energy produced so suppose these two units are running at 60 megawatt for 8000 hours then energy produced we have to take in 2 multiplied by 60 multiplied by 8000 so i will write 2 multiplied by 60 multiplied by 8000 plus now here the remaining one unit is there so it is also running for 2000 hours at its full capacity so 1 multiplied by 30 multiplied by 2000 now we will calculate this Ninety six into ten raised to four plus here six into ten raised to four. So if I take this ten raised to four as a common, then ninety six plus six that is one zero two into ten raised to four. Now what is the unit? So if we observe here, the unit is megawatt and here the unit is hours. So here maximum possible energy produced by plant per year because here running hours in given in per year so we will write here per year is equal to 102 into 10 raised to 4 megawatt hours plant use factor that is equal to actual energy produced divided by maximum possible energy produced by the plant so what is the actual energy produced? So it is given energy produced by the plant 876 into 10 raised to 6 kilowatt hour per year. So this unit is in kilowatt hour and maximum possible energy produced by the plant per year that we have calculated and which is in megawatt hours. So how to convert this megawatt into kilowatt hours that is we have to multiply with 10 raised to 3. So 102 into 10 raised to 4 multiplied by 10 raised to 3. So this kilowatt hour kilowatt hour is getting cancelled. And what is the answer? 0 0.86.